Good morning. It is early here on the West Coast. As you can probably see on my screen here, the Sunday strike towers have not even shown up yet. So it's before 7 a.m. I want to open, I want to start a new incubator and then I want to open up this eight hour incubator. And I want to talk about what is coming up in the week ahead. As everybody probably knows by now, version 1.6 will be dropping tomorrow morning, I assume. I'm sure that there's been an announcement as far as wind maintenance as I just don't know what it is off the top of my head. Today is the last day of the tournament season. So you have 22 hours from when I'm recording this. I'm actually gonna get this one uploaded pretty early today. So pretty close to 20-ish hours from this one. But this week has been the Thor week and it's not even just this week. It was like this week plus some days of previous week or I'm not really sure exactly how they break all this up seeing as how there's like two dinos that make one dino but that one dino is not on the map and I don't I've never actually sat down to try to figure it out exactly how this works but for Tarbosaurus is current it's so early I can't even speak straight Tarbosaurus is current you guys have seen them all over your maps no doubts those are all the elements for Thor we had Sino we had Allosaurus as well those are moving on, and what we're going to get are Tenanto Rex. So what you can look for with your Tenanto Rex is the elements of Tyrannolophosaur. I would expect to see T-Rex Gen 2 and Dilophosaurus Gen 2 probably next week, over the course of the week, in an abundance. And we have a lot of excitement. I know people are going to be wanting to try out new dinosaurs, dart new dinosaurs, create new dinosaurs, and do that for sure. I'm not saying don't do that, but also make sure that you take the time to get the T-Rex Gen 2 and the Dilophosaurus Gen 2. And then the, probably the following week will be Tenontosaurus, which will give you all of the ingredients that you need in order to get the Tenanto Rex, which I, I feel like should be a fairly decent dinosaur with the changing meta that is going to be coming. Um, definitely worth getting out there and darting. Currently, T-Rex Gen 2, the rare component to this, is a global spawn. I believe it's any time, but it's definitely a global spawn. If, if anything, if it's limited in any way, it'll be global and daytime, dawn, dusk. Dilophosaurus Gen 2 is a daytime dawn dusk park only. Maybe not the dawn dusk, but definitely park only. And then for Tenanto Rex or Tenantosaurus is going to be local to daytime only. I'm pretty sure about that. As you can see, I'm really close to getting this up to level 22. And moving forward, you're you're really gonna need to start focusing on specific dinosaurs. Instead of trying to get everything, you, you're really gonna need to pick, okay, what are gonna be my immune dinosaurs? What are gonna be my skull crushers, my, my, my chompers? What's gonna be my tank? What's gonna be my utility? Because I'm, I'm telling you now, I've I messed around with the beta a lot yesterday and you've gotta have a well rounded like I've said this before, like you need a well-rounded team and you, you, you do, but Prior to 1.6, you could have gotten away with being a little heavy maybe on the chompers or a little heavy on the speedies or maybe a little heavy on the tanks. That's not gonna work anymore. There's gonna be so much bleed, so much swapping in, so much swapping out that if you're heavy in one area, if, it, if, if, if say you're heavy in chompers, your chompers are gonna get bled to death and there's nothing you're gonna be able to do about it because yeah, your chompers are gonna hit hard, but these other dinosaurs are gonna be moving in and out, regenerating their health as they go away, when they come in, before they swoop, it's not gonna be pretty for you. So you're going to need some speed, you're going to need some, some strength, you're going to need to be immune, you're going to need to nullify, you're gonna need chompers. So it, it's gonna be pretty exciting to see all this shakes out. I'm sure it's pretty close to seven o'clock I'm extremely tired. I have bags under my eyes for sure. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna restart my game so that the strike towers come out. I'm gonna grab a coffee so I wake up a little bit. And then we're gonna take out, hopefully, 
the final strike tower of the week, epic strike tower that is, so more epic DNA. Don't level anything up today. You've come this far. Just wait until after 1.6 drops before you level up any dinosaurs. For today's epic strike tower, this is the fourth one of the week, and I don't remember having another week where we had four to, to, to knock out, but it's called Toughen Up. It says, a team of high health creatures stand between you and the strike event reward. Use creatures that can increase their damage and take those tanks down over multiple turns. Bleed is gonna work. Always, bleed is always gonna work. Uh, that looks like in a 19 Amargosaurus, a 20 dip low. It, it's a new one, dip, dip low something. It, it's a diplo something. And then, is that an Argentinosaurus maybe at 21? So these are going to prevent present a unique little situation where they are going to like rampage you, slow you down. Going with like crunchers, crushers, chompers, whatever you want to call them is going to be a good strat here. I'm actually, I actually think, you, you can definitely just go with bleed as well. I'm going to just kind of break out some chompers and impact and run. I'm going to go this route. If you don't have dinosaurs that are super high leveled, remember, like, is it Sukotator that can, Sukotator that can bleed and then distracting so that you, it only does like nine, like 10% damage. Swap into Dimodactylus, swap into Dimorphodon, any of those with the swap in wound is going to create a bleed as well. That probably should get you pretty far in this. Um, I'm going first. We have for the past two weeks had the opportunity to dart the components for Thor. I hope that all of you were able to take advantage of that. You've seen no doubt a ton of Tarbosaurus out on the out on the board this past few days the uh, probably the past week I'd say so far this is pretty oh what is this Diplodocus it's actually I, I could create this I just I just don't I don't know why there's there's no real reason for me to create it at this moment although I did just get knocked out it's gonna set me up for a nice little, uh, nice little turn here. I'm gonna go distracting rampage or strike. It's one time damage, not or one in one in times or one and a half times damage. One times damage. That's why it's a strike. And then just go ahead and finish things off here. Easy peasy. No, uh, no worries for me. Like I said, go with a bleed strat. If you have the bleeders, if you don't have higher level chompers, if you have the higher level chompers, I, I would probably just, I would probably just use those. Maybe, maybe mix in a bleed. Definitely use Draco Rex Gen 2. I have to say that I've, everybody's concerned about Draco Rex Gen 2 and Draco Ceratops when 1.6 lands. I tried running both of them last night in the beta. I don't, I don't necessarily think that's the best possible build that you can have. Um, just gonna kind of do the same that I just did. As far as the posting schedule for me for next week, I would say what I'm gonna do is probably, I'm gonna record several videos today and then over the course of Monday and Tuesday, my camera just does not want to focus. Maybe if I go like that. Mm. Okay, hopefully I'm in focus now. But, what was I saying? Oh yeah, so for 1.6, I'm gonna use the beta today. I've got all day, minus the Super Bowl to get out and record. Man, I look tired. I've been up since 4.30 this morning. I take the girlfriend to the airport. But, I've got all day today to record videos for 1.6. So that's what I'm gonna end up doing. And then I will drop them 
sporadically between Monday, Tuesday, and, and by Wednesday, I should be doing just completely new content. But look for pre-recorded stuff. Just the first video that I will most likely drop when 1.6 comes out is just kind of a, a basics over looking at the Alliance missions, the, the new gameplay, the darting, things of that nature. Just kind of a, a broad general overview. And then after that, look at Tyrannosaurus out here. And then after that, what I will probably do is do a bunch of like creature spotlights, highlighting all the new dinosaurs that we have. I've got all the two unlocked of the new ones in my beta, so I will kind of go over spotlights for those. Am I? I'm fooling around here, and I'm gonna end up losing this again because I'm not paying any attention to what I'm doing. I'm talking about the excitement of 1.6. I'm gonna get knocked out here. I really should start paying attention. That sun is now peeking through and what was just a small little shadow on my face is now a ginormous shadow on my face. Allosaurus is going to hit pretty hard as well. But I'm faster and I'm going to impact and run or hit and run and whatever it takes I'm going to knock out Allosaurus and I'm going to get out. I didn't, honestly I didn't even notice that Allosaurus was in this. Stand up. See, see how bright that sun is? It just completely washes me out here, bouncing off the street. Wow. This tower is not easy by any stretch of the imagination, but I still think bleeding is going to work. And in fact, like always, if you were successful knocking out this tower, go ahead and put what dinosaurs you used in the comments below. Like I've said before, I know a lot of people will look in the comments to see what other people used. And I'm not being super helpful <laughs> as far as what to do here. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to engage this tower. I don't like the team. I'm going to engage the tower and then I'm going to get out of the sun a little bit and battle it. Where you guys can actually see me and I can actually see my camera. The final step, uh, this, is, this is not going to be easy. Impacts and runs would probably be nice here. As I've said before, bleeding is going to be really nice. Chompers are going to be nice. Like pounce, where you do 50%, two times damage, and then reduce their damage by 50%. At delta, if you have delta at a high level, basically at this point, they're all 23 and higher. Use good dinosaurs. Don't try to come in here using, and I've done this before, but don't come in here trying to use <laughs> super low level dinosaurs. And, and knock them out unless you've done the math and you know what is gonna work. It's probably not the best strategy for getting a victory, probably. I'm actually struggling and I'm using two unique dinosaurs and this by no means is a foregone conclusion that I'm going to win any of this. So I'm gonna break in Draco Rex Gen 2 and go ahead and get the knockout right away. Now that I'm standing up and I'm not trying to hold my camera, I do I do have my coffee here, so that's always nice. But if it wasn't clear what I was trying to say before about the rest of this week, look for Monday and Tuesday, look for Monday early to get a kind of a broad overview video from me on the changes, what's new, and, and just a little more deep dive into 1.6. Then later in the day, and I don't know when, but later in the day look for some dinosaur spotlights where I will highlight the newer dinosaurs, not the newer, but the newest dinosaurs in the game. I'll highlight them, I'll go over their stats, I will put them into battle as well. Mind you I'm on the beta, I can't just play regular people. It's, it's mostly just bots. So I will try to do some strike towers if there are any available in the beta. If not, I'll do some arena battles just so you guys can, can get a sense and a feel for the dinosaurs. If I end up doing the arena battles, just know that my dinosaurs are way over leveled for the low level 
dinosaurs that I will be facing. So it might not be the absolute best representation of what those dinosaurs can, or more importantly, cannot do. Whenever you're having level 20 dinosaurs versus a bunch of level six, sevens, eights, tens, it typically is very, very one-sided. So keep that in mind. But I do want to let you know to be expecting probably not Posimon level of multiple uploads per day, but definitely at least two uploads per day, just because I will have already recorded them. So, and then that'll pretty much take care of Monday, Tuesday, and maybe even part of Wednesday. Epic incubator time. This this was great. I, I did not really even pay attention to what I was doing there. So I hope you guys are able to take that one out. Sorry if I wasn't real helpful. I know most people are just waiting for uh, 1.6 anyways. 6,500 of Parasaurolophus is, is not anything to be upset about for sure. Giraffe Titan, Advantosaurus, which is getting a hybrid. Let me just tell you this before I, before I open the rest of this. In your deck, and I know I've always said that you want to have a well-rounded deck, it's going to be even more imperative that you have a well-rounded deck because just running the new dinosaurs, I can, I can hop in, I can swap out, I don't ever really leave a dinosaur in for more than two attacks, <laughs> and then I swap it out for something else. I've been able to compound bleed upon bleed upon stun and just absolutely wreck havoc on my opponent's dinosaurs. So that is what you have to look forward to. Avantosaurus actually makes a pretty decent hybrid. I'll go into my opinions on all of them later, but it's, it's, the problem is, is it's an epic. And epics usually struggle, as they should, against legendaries and uniques. And since I'm not battling in those, I don't know, and I don't have really a great feel for how they do against equal or better competition. So my my opinion, I'll reserve my opinion and my judgment for when I know more, and I'll just kind of give you guys the facts and, and try to give you unbiased facts. Uh, almost 400 Brachiosaurus here, and that, did I only get one epic? I feel like I only got one epic there. That's all I've got for today. It's going to be a short video, but I'm getting it out super early. And then I've got to spend most of the rest of the day working on 1.6. Let me tell you, it's good. It, it, just on what I've seen, it's good. So the meta is definitely going to change, whether for the better or worse, I don't know. <laughs> but the meta is definitely going to change. So that's all I've got for this one. So until next time.